impressed by little things in life. Like, wow, this is a very sturdy box. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a PR show and tell video for y'all today. So I've got a lot of fun goodies here that I'm gonna run through, show you some swatches, let you know some of my initial first thoughts and first impressions on these products and just do a little show and tell. So let's get into it. So first off, Burberry sent me some lip products in a really cute little package here. So these are the, let me get them out of the package to tell you what they are. They are called the Liquid Lip Velvets. So I have them swatched here. So starting on that side right there, that one is number five Fawn. The one in the middle is Bright Plum, number 49. And the dark one is Oxblood, number 53. I am excited to wear Oxblood during the fall and winter because that is gorgeous. It's like just, it's an Oxblood color. Calling it Oxblood matches it because it's Oxblood. It's like a very kind of brownie, dark red. It's beautiful. Now these, I've worn these two. I haven't worn this color. I don't think. I don't think I've worn that one. These are more kind of like fluffy and moussey. Calling them a lip velvet really is a good description because they don't set down to be like super matte and transfer proof. They're not that kind of lip product. They're more of just that soft, comfortable, moussey sort of formula that they do move a little bit, but I like them because they're more comfortable. Um, but just know that about them. That's kind of like, they're not marketed to be. They're not called a matte transfer resistant liquid lipstick. They are called a lip velvet. So really pretty. I think those are really beautiful colors. And then Soap and Glory sent me some fun goodies. So here is the box, super duper cute. So this has a couple of bath products in here and then some makeup-y things. So bath products, there is the, the Righteous Butter with softening shea butter and aloe vera. It says a body moisturizing formula so virtuous you might swear you're wearing a velvet. Now something to note about their bath products they have a very strong smell. They smell really good, but they're very, very fragrant. So if you are sensitive to strong smells, these may not be for you, but I think the smell is nice. I might mix it with something else to tone it down a little bit just because it's so strong. And then this is the Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. And this has the same smell. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I don't know, kind of sunflowery maybe. Very fresh smelling, it's yummy, but again, it's strong. And then makeup things. I totally meant to wear this today and I forgot. This is the Super Cat Skinny Easy Precision Black Ink Eyeliner. And it's got a really nice, you can see it there. It's like the, um, a really good combination of like a little bit felt tippy, but then a little bit brushy. It's kind of like it has some movement to it. I'll show you swatches in just a second. And then a couple of lip products. I was really excited about these. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker. This is in Super Nude Matte. This smells amazing. Like so vanilla-y and yummy. I've already been wearing it. I'm already like nubbing it down because I love it. It's really comfortable. Really nice matte formula. Doesn't move around. And then this is the Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump Lip Gloss. And this is in Koi Toy. So there is what that looks like. So here are swatches of the liner, a little thicker version of it, kind of applied a little bit more thinner, the lipstick and then the gloss. Now something to note about the gloss, it is no joke. Like it even says on the back, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know where it says it, but something about like, hey, get ready. It's going to really like buzz your lips. And it does. It almost like it's not like it's cooling. It's not like it's burning. It literally like felt like I was putting a massager up to my lips, like a back massager up to my lips. It was really interesting. I could handle it, but I even told Timothy, I was like, oh, don't kiss me right now wearing this because he would hate it. <laughs> he doesn't even like Burt's Bees. Like he says that burns his lips. So just know if you're sensitive to that stuff, you may not like that. You probably won't like that if you are sensitive to like the buzzing sort of feeling on your lips. But I mean, I do feel like it, kind of plumped a little bit, but it's really pretty. These two look gorgeous together. So super excited about these goodies. So thank you to Soap and Glory and to Burberry. Thank you to all these brands. I'm so thankful and excited about it all. Postal Sense was so sweet and sent me their new Revealed Matte Palette. 
I have been loving this. I do have a whole video on this where I swatch it, do a little mini tutorial. So if you wanna see more information about this, I would say check out that video, but just initial first thoughts on it. I love it. I think it's a great palette. I, every time I use it, I'm impressed with it. I'm impressed with how it wears. It's just a pretty nice matte palette. And then um, Milk Makeup sent me their new, what is this called? Their Holographic Stick. And this is in Mars. Totally meant to wear this today too. And I forgot, well, there went the lid thing. It's really pretty. I've already worn it, um, but I meant to wear it today, but I forgot. Um, it's like, it's really cool because it's like kind of peachy, pinky, iridescent-y. What I've wanted to wear this with is Fireball from Urban Decay. Like that really cool duo chromey highlighter. I think it would look really pretty with that. So, and their cream highlighters are so nice because they're not sticky. Like they really do move, um, but then they have enough something that they stick a little bit. But they do have kind of like that wet sort of a look on the skin. So I like to set them just because I'm more combo oily, but it's so cool looking. Like even in the packaging, it looks really neat and just kind of like a, a funky, fun, different sort of a highlight color. Really neat. Pixie sent me another cute box with some skincare things in here. So these are the Glycolic Glow Getters. Say that five times quickly. That is hard to say. For the perfect pixie glow, use these must-have skin treats. Cleanse, tone, and exfoliate to get your most beautiful skin. So step one is cleanse, which is the Glow Mud Cleanser. I have not used these products yet. I need to try them out. Uh, this says with 5% 5, 5 glycolic acid and aloe vera, so deep purifying cleanser. So there's the cleanser. And then I'm excited about these. These are step two tone, glow tonic to go. And they're just little like um, facial pads. It says exfoliating toner pads, 5% glycolic aloe vera and ginseng, 60 pads in there. And then last there is step three, which is exfoliate. And this is an overnight glow serum. And it says with 10% glycolic acid and aloe vera. I love using acids on my face. I do it often, so I'm excited to use this. I will absolutely use it. it says gently exfoliates to reveal a healthier and more even skin tone. Helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and fades superficial sun damage over time. Yes, I will take some of that. So I'm excited about these products. They sound really nice. And then, oh my goodness, another stinking adorable collection from Merle Norman. This is their summer collection. It says Destination Gorgeous. It's a little bag. I love this bag. I think it's so cute, really functional. I have the boxes for the products in here, so that's why it's got it's got some structure. There's some stuff in it, but I've already been using it, like keeping things in it. It's a great bag, so I love the bag. Wait till you see this, just wait. Is that not adorable? It's so cute. Like I loved their denim collection. I don't know if denim can be beat, but this is really close because this is just so adorable. So this is the Beautiful Journey Face and Eye Palette. So it comes with all these things and a nice mirror up here. Perfect for travel. You've got your bronzer, blush, eyeshadows, highlight, all in one palette. Um, then they have some lip products. They have the Lip Duets. So there is Miami, Maui is the pink one, and then this one is Waikiki. So I do have swatches for you. Let me show you this really like quickly. So this has the lipstick side and then it has the gloss on the other side. So perfect for throwing in your purse, perfect for traveling, adorable to look at. They're so cute. So here are swatches. There's the palette. Beautiful, really nice quality. Great, like every day, go with everything. Just not gonna fail you makeup. So pretty, and then here are the lip products. So that one right there is Miami. This pink one in the middle is Maui, and that one is Waikiki. So just so fun. I'm so excited about this collection. Merle Norman has just been knocking it out of the park. I get so excited about all their collections because I just think they're such good makeup. I've said it so many times. I feel like they're so overlooked, but they have such fun, cute, good, makeup. It's good stuff. So yeah, that might be one of my favorite things right there because that's just 
So pretty, love that pink. I actually meant to wear that one today, but I grabbed this one, which I love that one too. So I love the whole collection, it's adorable. Ofra has a new palette. This is their pop-up palette. So this is what it looks like. So it opens up and then it can lean, which is really cool. And what I love about it too is look at the inside of it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but it's like, I don't know, like it, it has a little bit of like a sparkle to it. So it's just like pretty and happy and fun. And you can put all your highlighters, eyeshadows, whatever in there. It's just a cool palette. And it's neat that it like leans up like that. Weezer Man sent me some brushes. So this is really cool. This is a brush belt with a bunch of different brushes in here. Um, they feel nice. Not necessarily the softest brushes I've ever felt, but still very soft. They feel like a synthetic sort of a, um, I was gonna say fabric, no synthetic sort of material. These seem really cool. I'm really excited about these. These are the mini face contour brush set. So you've got um, two different brushes in here. Where did it say? The mini pointed foundation brush and then the mini contour foundation brush. Let me see if I can open these and show you. I was looking at these the other day. I like, I mean, I've told you this before. I, I think little cute makeup is just fun. Like it just makes me happy. Anything that's like short, you know, cutesy, travel friendly makeup, I think it's just adorable. So these are so cute. Again, it's that kind of, ooh, this one feels extra soft. Ooh, yes to this one. This one feels very soft. That's exciting. And then it comes with like a um, face sponge there. So it says, let's read about it. Why is Brush IQ better? Natrophil synthetic bristles are vegan and cruelty-free, um, hygienic, soft, and gentle on skin, flawless pickup and release of makeup products onto skin, perform better than natural hair brushes, easy to clean, hand wash, or use a makeup wipe for an even faster drying time. Brush heads retain their shape even after several washes. So that's nice. Sounds like they're very durable and it's nice that they're synthetic. So yeah, I need to play around with these more. I'm gonna start with these though, because I'm most excited about these little cute, stubby, adorable brushes. Beauty Junkies has some new makeup. So first off this, this is a vitamin C type of a lip treatment. You're not gonna be able to see it because it's just clear, but seems very um, moisturizing and a nice treatment for the lips. So that is one product there. They have these, let me get them without spilling them everywhere. These are the, what are these called? Oh, they don't have a name on them. I will list these down below, but these are basically like a, a liquid lipstick kind of a product. Um, this first one is Amaretto. Really pretty color. Oh my gosh. It's like a cool toned, taupey, burgundy brown. Love that. And then the other one is Metallic Sorbet. Ooh, I wore this one day. That is metallic, like really pretty and metallic. But I'm gonna wear it with something else. Like I probably will just use it in the middle of my lips because it's, it's no joke metallic. Then there are glosses right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the difference. These are pretty sheer, but really nice and comfortable. Um, and they smell, it's funny. I mean, these are like minty to like, they're no joke minty. They're like, um, they smell just like gum. They smell like spearmint gum. They smell good, but they smell like gum. It's so cute. Okay, so down here, that one is Mint Pink Buff. Mint Pink Buff. In the middle there, that one is Mint Jewel. And then at the top, I'm most excited about this one, this little pink one. And is it not adorable? I mean, that is so stinking cute. This one up there is Mint Pink Satin. So cute, oh my gosh. Those just feel very nice and hydrating and comfortable. And then they have some eyeshadows. I just stuck them in a little Sephora um, Z palette type of thing. So here they are all swatched. Let me see if I can get them out of here to tell you the names. So this one right here, starting right there, that one is Star Bright. The next one is, I have that on my lid, the next one. Rude, my camera just cut me off. So, okay, I think I was just saying that the second one right there I'm wearing on my lids today, that one is Stargazing. Then we have that kind of like coppery one that is Star Field. And then the dark one is Constellation. 
really pretty. I did wear this one. I used it with um, MAC Fix Plus because they're pretty soft shadows. So I liked using it with MAC Fix Plus and then it was like really intensified. So pretty. These colorful shades, oh my goodness, so fun. So this pink one is Leg Warmers. I love that name. I don't think I've looked at the name. That is so cute. The green one is totally awesome. And then the blue one is Break Dancing. And then the purple one is That's So Rad. Love that. Those are so fun. So yes, some new goodies from Beauty Junkies. And then Elf sent me another really fun box of goodies. So here they are right here. I actually can't find one thing that was in there that I've been loving, but it was a turquoise eyeliner. It's so pretty and I've been using it and I have no idea what I did with it. I don't know where it went. So first off, these two things I'm super excited about and really impressed with these. These are the Tinted Lip Oils. So I have them swatched here. So Coral Kiss and Berry Kiss are the two colors. They're really comfortable. They smell yummy like vanilla. Just really nice, very hydrating, love those. There are some lashes in here. So this was kind of all about like festivals, like going to a festival. There's a cute little bandana. There are the Winged and Bold Lush Lash Kit. So we'll see if I could ever get those on my eyes successfully, who knows? <laughs> and then the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. This is a classic one. A lot of people talk about this, St. Lucia. Just a really pretty peach, really nice um, bronzy color in there. I've had that before and really, really liked it. I think I, I have to look and see if I still have it. I don't know if I gave it. Sometimes my friends and family come over and I give them my makeup. I'll have to look and see if I still have it. Anyway, okay, then the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. This is in Soiree. Gorgeous color. Some of this stuff I might put in a giveaway, so that's why I'm not swatching these two. That looks really pretty. Excited about this. Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter says Illuminating. Let's swatch this because I do want to play with this. This looks really pretty. I bet you could mix it with um, like foundation. You could wear it by itself. Okay, we gotta get through the initial. Oh, there it goes. I'm like, what? Okay, now it's going. Now we got some color. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty gooey, okay. I don't know about that. It's still got some goo to it. But for dry skin people, you may be excited about the like, you know, hydration of that. But I'm gonna have to kind of get through that initial. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. The The actual like highlighter part looks pretty, but it's, it's very oily. So not jumping up and down about that, but I am jumping up and down about these lip oils. Those are nice. That is so nice. And I really like the eyeliner that I can't find. That was really pretty too. And lastly, I got a really beautiful box from Elemis. This is so pretty. Really nice, like thick, nice quality box. I'm like really impressed by little things in life. Like, wow, this is a very sturdy box. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just, it's a very nice box. And there's um, a cute little note in here. I thought this was so sweet. It's a little like um, eye thingy for nighttime and it says my name. Isn't that cool? This is the first time I've received anything from a brand that actually had my name on it, which is really cool. I'm excited and thankful for everything I get from brands, but that's just really neat to have your name on it. So this is, let's see what it says about this. We are thrilled to ex exclusively unveil our 24 seven super skin collection. So let me show you the little um, promo here. So it's the 24 seven super skin collection. So there are different products in here. The pro collagen cleansing balm. I am all about the cleansing balms. I love them. I'm like, what is it called? Um, oh, where you don't just cleanse once you do like a double cleanse. I'm doing that regularly now. Um, the pro collagen marine cream, which marine cream is supposed to be like marine, all the marine stuff is supposed to be really good for your skin. So there is that. And then there is the peptide Four night recovery cream oil. Let's see if I can read some stuff about this to you. So the cleansing balm, it says this powerful deep cleansing balm dissolves makeup, 
daily grime and pollutants. Luxurious rose and mimosa waxes are infused with nourishing elderberry, starflower, and optomega oils and supercharged with anti-aging algae, Padina pavonica. Skin is intensely cleansed, nourished, and renewed for a glowing complexion. That sounds really nice. The marine cream, it says, clinically proven pro-collagen marine cream has been shown to reduce the appearance of wrinkles in 15 days. Yes! Improve hydration and leave skin feeling firmer and looking more radiant. Padina P Pavanica has been blended with ginkgo biloba, chlorella, and precious rose and mimosa absolutes to moisturize the skin and visibly improve the appearance of fine lines while supporting a feeling of suppleness, firmness, and elasticity. This is the ultimate anti-aging cream from Elemis. That sounds really good and really exciting. So as a global bestseller, one is sold every nine seconds around the world. Whoa. And then this, it says, Elemis Peptide Night Recovery Cream Oil was inspired by the body's miraculous inner clock. This extraordinary cream oil helps to support the skin's natural processes and synchronization. Blended with night scented stock oil, which is exceptionally rich in omega-3, perilla seed oil, vitamin E, and antioxidants. Skin feels rebalanced and appears beautifully restored and replenished overnight. Wow, yes, give me some of that. I'm excited to try that. So yes, so I believe that this set is going to be, let's see what it says, um, launching um, on the 1st of June only on QVC and in limited supply. So yes, so keep your eye out for that. It may already be posted by the time I post this video, but sounds like an exciting set. All right guys, so those are all the goodies that I have to show you in this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below if you tried any of these goodies. What are your thoughts on them? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.